Okay, for this question over here, um, they give you the graph, and there's a couple of steps to solve it. Okay, now I'm gonna reset all, so that um, you don't mess up in it. Let me reset. Okay, I want to show you the exact way of how to solve it, so you know what to do in the exam. Okay, um, there's a long way to solve it, and sure it's gonna be correct. You're gonna get the correct final answer, but they want a couple of things for you to find in between. Like, method they're asking, what's this? What's this? What's this? When you see this question, I explained it in the grids, you can watch my video in the grids. But it's basically they're asking you to find an expression for the position in between 3 and 5. Mm -hmm. Alright, they're saying that the expression for the position is whatever, high of t squared plus 5t plus c, and they're asking you find the value of c. Now, the thing is, there's many ways to do it, but the problem is, if you want to solve this question in this way, you're restricted to one step of solving. Mm -hmm. The first thing they're asking you to find is what is the expression for the velocity between 3 and 5. So between 3 and 5, what is the expression of the velocity? Over here and over here. Isn't the velocity here a straight line? This is a velocity graph. It's a straight line. How do you find the expression of a straight line? Simply find the slope. The slope is negative 1 because you're going down 1 and you're moving to the right one. So rise is negative 1, run is 1. So the slope is negative 1. Or you can take two points and calculate the slope. That doesn't matter. You guys are grade 12 students. You should be able to find the slope. Anyway, so your equation of the line will be negative x plus something. We don't know. What is that something? How do we find it? You have to take one point and substitute it. Many people use y minus y node equal mx minus x node, which is completely fine. You can do this or just use this. I prefer this. Okay. If you take this point here, 3, 2, and um, the, uh, the y is 2, the x is 3, so negative 3 plus b. So take negative 3 to the other side, you get b is 5. So that means the expression for the velocity between 3 seconds and 5 seconds, the straight line is a negative x plus 5 but they want it negative t plus 5 right so there you go negative t plus 5 instead of x they want t because it's a t graph v t not vx anyway cool part b they're saying is what is the position at 3 not between 3 and 5 exactly at 3 so what's the position over here isn't the position over here the area that has been traveled under the v graph yes but but you also need to add the initial position and they said that the initial position is how much? 5.5 so you're starting over okay you're starting here but you're already starting at 5.5 so the position at 3 would be the area plus that 5.5 because that's your initial starting position okay so x of 3 is the area plus 5.5 anyway so we're gonna do that x of 3 is the area plus 5.0 oh, sorry is the area plus 5.5. What's the area? We're going to split it up into a triangle over here. The first triangle, the base is 2, the height is 4, so I'm going to put triangle 1. It's bh over 2, so it's 2 times 4 over 2, which is 4. Then you have a trapezoid over here, okay? So I'll write it as t2. The second trapezoid over here. Yeah, the base 1 is 4, base 2 is 2. So base 1 is 4, base 2 is 2, over 2, times the height. The height in between them is 1 square. So 6, plus t uh, six over 2, 3 times 1 is 3. So the total area is 7 meters. But don't forget, if you want to reach 3, you also need to add your initial position. So x of 3 is that 7 meters plus the 5.5 meters which is 12.5 meters so let's fill that in down here so x of 3 is the integral plus x of 0 right over here and I did 7 plus 5.5 this 7 represents the integral from 0 to 3 of v of t someone's gonna tell me we need what the fuck shukhas integral well, I don't know what bro my enter when you calculate area Inta, you're a grade 12 a student doing calculus. You should know from grade 11 that the area under the graph is the integral. Well, this is in the CA, come in. Uh, well, you should have taken it in class. The area under this graph, and when you calculated it, that was the integral. Okay? For when you calculate the area from 0 to 3, it's the same as saying integral from 0 to 3. Okay? For that's why they said integral from 0 to 3. And on they're telling you the area of the graph from 0 to 3. Plus, and I added 7. Plus, 5.5. Someone will tell me, what is true x of 0? You said 5.5. But that 5.5 is x of 0, no? So we put x of 0. Okay. Equals. 
something plus 5.5 we know that the x of 0 is the 5.5 and this vt integral we know that's the area and we found it as 7 and 7 plus 5.5 is 12.5 nice so we now found the initial position we did a lot of things already okay now the last part is simply I'm gonna put the initial there sorry I'm gonna put that the position up until 3 is 12.5 now the last part is to find the position between 3 and 5 that's the goal to do that, we need to integrate the velocity. But between what and what? Obviously between 3. Someone genius is going to put 5. Why 5? I don't know. May maybe he, uh, Einstein came inside his dreams and said, no, you have to put 5. I don't know why, but that's definitely not the case. They're saying x of t. If they said x of 5, be my guest. Put from 3 to 5. Cool. But they're saying x of t. So they want an expression for a time regardless of where it is. So you just put t. Mish 5, you put t. Now we agreed that between 3 and 5, the v of t is negative, uh, uh, negative t plus 5. We found it down here, right? We said that between 3 and 5, the expression for the velocity is negative t plus 5. Okay? So that means over here, it's going to be integral. Sorry, 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 before I continue, we need to add the 12.5 as well on the side, outside of the integral. Why? Because like I told you, between 3 and 5, you already traveled all of this. Your position will also be your position here, plus whatever you traveled before. So that's why you have to add 12.5, okay? Anyway, so it's going to be integral 3 to t. V of t, we said it's negative t plus 5 dt. Now, outside the integral, you have the 12.5. Now, integral of negative t plus 5, any, per, any person in grade 12 should be able to do it, whether you're in S or L, by the way. Um, negative t squared over 2 plus 5t. Okay, from what to what? From 3 to t plus that 12.5 on the side. Now, um, substitute t with t, you get the same thing, Yanni. So you're going to get negative t squared over 2 plus 5t minus open bracket. Now substitute 3, negative 3 squared over 2 plus 5 times 3 plus 12.5. So you get negative t squared over 2 plus 5t. Add a negative 9 over 2, sorry, it becomes plus 9 over 2, because the minus minus, then minus 15 plus 12.5, and you get negative t squared over 2 plus 5t. 9 over 2 minus 15 plus 12.5 uh, 12 is um, 2.5, 4.5, uh, Wait, 4.5, 13, 17, plus 2. So C is 2. There you go. I don't know if my calculations are correct. Do it in a calculator, be on the safe side. But it should be 2. Anyways, uh, that's how you do this question. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, good luck in your exam.